Traveler, what are you doing here? It is very uncommon for humans to show up around these parts. You're hurt! Let me help you. It's okay, I promise. I won't hurt you. Our singing voices have healing powers, so I can heal that wound for you. Just sit still and let me take care of it, okay? Do it? Do you feel better? How did you even end up here? Hmm. You went diving, but a storm swept you away and you woke up in this cave with a nasty wound? I am so sorry to hear that. You are from the human parts of the world, yes? Most humans don't dare enter the Murfolk Kingdom anymore. We are very skeptical of humans, you see. Due to our history. We used to be hunted on. For our fish skills, or to be researched. There are even stories circling that Murfolk were being abducted and then sold to be kept in giant aquariums as pets to show off. It's disgusting. Due to new laws, it is now forbidden to come on Merville ground unless agreements have been made beforehand. It brought us peace, knowing that we finally could swim around again in peace. But nowadays, most people don't even know about our existence anymore. But... We've evolved from the peaceful creatures that we once were. We have merfolk soldiers now who patrol the border between the human world and our kingdom. Whenever a human passes without having access, it will be killed on sight. You are very lucky to have made it here alive. Unless you were given access? You weren't. I was already afraid of that. You can't stay here long. If someone else learns of your existence here, they'll try to kill you. Why am I not killing you? Because I simply do not believe in violence. I believe we merfolk and the human world should live together in peace and harmony. We never were this violent before. It makes me sad. Anyway, just lay back and rest for a while. Your body needs time to heal, and my powers may have healed the wound, but relieving the soreness in your body might take a couple of minutes. It needs to rest. But don't worry. I'll stay here in case somebody accidentally stumbles upon you. <laughs> oh, you don't need to thank me. I find this to be common courtesy. I don't want you to die. You seem like a nice, genuine person. I don't think you'll pose a threat to us. What's your name? I see. My name is Noelle. It is nice to meet you. You must be glad that you got swept out to this cave. It gives shelter and has oxygen for you to breathe in. How did I find you? Well, I come to this cave quite often. It's like my little secret hideout. I come here when I want to be alone. But don't apologize. I'm glad I found you. This way, I was able to help you heal. Why did I want to be alone today? Well, it's kind of a sad story, so... I'm sorry if it brings down the mood. We Murfolk can be quite similar to you humans in a lot of ways. I recently was 
dumped. Yes, we merfolk engage in dating too. We don't just wake up one day and know who our perfect match is. We gotta find them first. I was seeing this merman for quite some time. We had a rocky relationship, but I was nonetheless devoted until he just got up one day and decided he couldn't do this anymore. He had the worst mood swing of his life. I had never seen him like that before. I was accused of all sorts of things and he was convinced that what we had wasn't true love and that I had been using him all along. And then he swam out of my life. I haven't heard of him since. That was a month ago. <laughs> I know that statement sounds funny to you, but we merfolk don't have legs, you see, so it makes much more sense to talk in swimming terms rather than walking terms. <laughs> don't feel bad for laughing. Anyway, I come here to think and to let out my sadness. I've been kind of distancing myself from the merfolk ever since. My confidence kind of took a hard blow. <laughs> Look at me rambling. I'm sorry to bother you with this. I didn't mean to bring the mood down or to give you troubles. You don't mind? Well, thank you. Is there someone in the human world waiting for you to return? Ah. Uh. I see. Well, whatever the situation may be, we need to get you home regardless. The other merfolk are hostile towards humans. I know a secret passageway close to the border, which could, we can use to help you escape. Is your diving equipment still intact? It is? Good. Hmm? What is it? Seriously? You find that merman an idiot? How come? <laughs> that is really sweet of you. Thank you for calling me beautiful and kind. It is nice to hear after all the horrible things that have been said. Hmm? Have there ever been relationships between humans and merfolk? Like, romantically? That is kind of a taboo around here. It is not forbidden, but it is highly frowned upon due to the history that we have with the human folk. But I have heard stories of mermaids or mermen who found human partners. They usually decide to go live in the human world since there is no way for the human partner to survive underwater. We merfolk can breathe oxygen but humans will drown once being kept underwater for too long. Besides, even if it did work for some miraculous reason, there would always be the danger of the human being killed by angry merfolk who can't let go of the past. It would end in a tragedy. Have I ever considered dating a human? To be honest, I never really thought about it. I don't resent humans, but I've always seen the Murful Kingdom as my home. I've never been to the human world before. I've never crossed the border between our two lands. It is highly forbidden to do so anyway, unless the mermaid or merman leaving pleads to never return ever again. It is a very hard decision to make. I've heard of mermaids and mermen sneaking out through the hidden passage and exploring the human seas, the one that I want to use to let you back to your world. But once merfolk pass the border, our common laws no longer protects them. Merfolk and human ground can still be hunted on, be captured, or get killed. That is part of the agreement that was reached. Humans aren't allowed to enter merfolk ground unless given permission and merfolk isn't allowed to enter human ground unless they give up their merfolk identity 
and will live forward as humans from that point on. They are no longer allowed to maintain their tails, and must keep a human appearance permanently. Am I happy in the merfolk world? Well, I used to be. But I can't help but shake the feeling that there is more in store for me. I want to keep pursuing this dream of mine, to let humans and merfolk live together again in mutual peace. To help merfolk go back to their peaceful nature that we once had. I don't want to see humans or merfolk be slain anymore by one another. My biggest wish would be that this world we live in would become one open world where merfolk and humans live together in harmony. No borders, no killing of one another, just peace and happiness. I know it sounds far-fetched, but I want to do everything in my power to at least try my best to make the impossible possible. Huh? You want to help me? Really? But why? My speech convinced you? <laughs> I wasn't even trying to give a speech. <laughs> this is just something I am really passionate about. But my only worry is how I am going to make this possible. I cannot achieve much if I cannot even leave the Murphal Kingdom. Sometimes I feel like I'll just have to make the sacrifice and leave to the human world and tried my best from out there, but I know I'll miss my tail and merfolk identity. Hmm? Do you have an idea? Huh? What if we keep meeting up at this secret part of the border and come up with plans together? You know that would be extremely dangerous. If the Merfolk guards spot you and meet together, we'll risk both being killed, or it might be seen as a traitor. You're not going to give up? <sighs> Alright then, I'll put my trust in you. Let's stay in touch. How about we meet up at the border once every two weeks, just as the sun sinks beneath the horizon? Do you think you could do that? Great. By the way, how is your body feeling? Are my powers working? They are? I'm glad. Do you think you're ready to go diving again? Just take it easy. I'll stay by your side and we'll escort you to the secret spot. Just stay close to me, okay? Yes, I can still hear you fight through your breathing mask. You look surprised that you can hear me. That's one of the powers of mermaids. We can talk underwater. Pretty cool, huh? By the way, you don't seem surprised by the fact that you've stumbled upon a mermaid. Why is that? When you were diving in the human world, you think you've spotted merfolk once or twice before? <sighs> this is what I mean. The merfolk were still going out to explore, not careful at all. I just hope they all return safe and sound. Let's work hard to make a peaceful world for the both of us, okay? I don't want any human or merfolk to ever have to worry about being killed anymore by the other species. Of course, the best thing ever would be if killing on this planet would stop entirely, but... That is something I probably won't be able to achieve in my lifespan. Our merfolk lifespan is similar to that of a human. <laughs> yes, we even have senior merfolk who are, of, who are of old age. In our culture, they are highly respected and are sometimes referred to as the wise, instead of senior merfolk. You have an odd question you're almost too scared to ask? <laughs> What is it? How do merfolk reproduce or relieve their bladder or bowels? <laughs> I can't understand how humans wonder about that. I know that there are a lot of theories out there. In that way, 
we are very, very similar to regular fish, since our bottom part is technically identical to the bottom part of a regular fish. So, relieving ourselves, like how you call it, is done the same way a fish does it. When it comes to reproducing, mermaids can lay eggs and mermen can fertilize those. I know that the mental image might be a little odd or even repulsive to you. I don't blame you. There is plenty of merfolk who prefer to do it the human way. That way, the merbaby can also be kept safely inside of the mermaid instead of being exposed as it grows in an egg. Nonetheless, whatever me method you choose, it will still take nine months for the merbaby to be born, similar to human pregnancy. The only risk for this is that once the mermaid starts going in labor, after choosing to conceive the merbaby the human way, she needs to be above ground, like in a cave similar to where we were, and able to deliver the merbaby in a human way. If she is not above ground in time, it can be quite a gruesome sight, in which both the mermaid and the merbaby don't survive the ordeal. Both methods have their pros and cons, so it really depends on the mermaid or mermen. Hmm? Our human form? Yes, as I mentioned before, we merfolk possess over a human form. It's in our genes and will be automatically activated, so to speak, once our bodies are completely dry. Once we are covered in a certain amount of water, our bodies transform back to our merfolk form. But since our merfolk kingdom is almost entirely underwater, most merfolk have never ever been in a human form unless they choose to conceive the human way. We basically have no need for it since there probably will never be a moment in our lives where our bodies will be completely dry. That's why a little rain or a couple drops of water won't reveal our true form once we are in the human world. But since the human world doesn't want to take any risks, they've developed a certain something. It pains me to say it or even think about it, but scientists have come up with a certain potion that is able to kill your merfolk form. Merfolk who decide to leave the kingdom and live in the human world are forced to drink it. There is no going back. Literally. You'll be a regular human and even if you go swimming, you'll stay in human form. You'll lose all touch with your merfolk senses and all abilities that come with it, including your healing powers. I don't think I'd ever be capable of doing such a thing. Being a mermaid is who I am. I would never want to give that up. <laughs> I'm a beautiful mermaid? <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a good-looking human yourself. <laughs> well then, we're almost at the border. We have got to be careful here. If we get spotted, it is all over. Do you see that shimmering wall? The way it glistens? That's the border. Now look to the side over there. Do you see the part where it doesn't shimmer? That's the weak point. You should be able to swim through it undetected, but you have to be fast and careful. On my sign, swim as fast as you can, okay? And promise me that you'll take good care of yourself. Hmm? Same goes for me? You don't want me to be sad anymore over some merman? It is hard, but I'll get there. To be honest with you, I've never had many friends. I was always seen as the shy one who never wanted to oppose the humans. People eventually started avoiding me, but thanks to you, I do feel a lot better. Thank you. I am really glad we met. You too? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll see you in two weeks, at sundown. Take care of yourself out there, okay? <laughs>
Yes, of course you can hug me. Mm. Now, three, two, one, go! <laughs> 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 